Have you ever been filling out an Amazon inventory flat file and wondered how to get an image URL? That's exactly what I'm going to show you today along with a reminder on how to download a flat file for your products category and how to export and upload it to Amazon afterwards. So first you need to download your flat file. So to do that, we're going to go to menu, inventory, and click add products via upload. So Amazon has recently changed this. So if this page looks a little different to you, that's why. So under list products not currently in Amazon's catalog, we're going to click get product template, even though yes, your product is currently in Amazon's catalog. And then click the marketplace that you're selling in. And if you want to select multiple marketplaces, you'll be able to do that on the next screen. And then that brings you to the add products via upload page, the page that you're probably already used to if you frequently do flat files. So step one is selecting your category and you have to select the category pathway that your product is already listed in. So you can either type in your product and Amazon will suggest a category pathway, or you can go ahead and select the pathway yourself. And if you don't know your product's current category pathway, I'll quickly show you how to do that now. So to find which category pathway your product is listed in, you're going to go to menu, inventory, manage inventory, scroll down and find your product, then click edit on the right hand side. Click the product identity tab and under recommended browse nodes, it's going to tell you which category your product is listed in. So once you have selected your category pathway, it's going to pop up here underneath summary of your selected products. Scroll down to step two, and this is where you can add additional marketplaces. Step three, I just leave as is, and then click generate template at the bottom. And then it's going to download to your computer. Now you want to open this file in either Excel or Google Sheets. If you don't have Excel, I'll link a free web version in the description box. Or I like to use Google Sheets, which is also free. So for this example, we're using Google Sheets. We're going to click start a new template and click blank. Then you're going to click file, import, upload, then select or drag template you just downloaded. Now to get a URL for your images, we are going to be using a website called postimages.org. So ignore all the ads and just focus on the center of the screen. We're going to leave the settings as do not resize my image and no expiration. And you can either click choose images to browse your computer or you can drag and drop the file. And once it has uploaded, you're going to copy the direct link that ends in a .jpg. So you can click the copy link right beside it. Next, go back over to your spreadsheet. The template tab is the one that we're going to be filling out. Now, this isn't a full walkthrough tutorial on how to fill out a flat file, but all you need to do is go over to the data definitions tab. And on the right hand side in red, it will tell you if that field is required or not. So in the template tab, fill out the required fields and then scroll over to the images section and go ahead and paste your image links. Repeat this process for the remainder of your images. Now we're going to export and upload this file to Amazon. So go to File, Download, and download it as a Microsoft Excel file. Now go back into Amazon and click Menu, Inventory, Add Products via Upload. Drag and drop your file. You can type in your email address if you want it to alert you when it's done uploading. It doesn't take that long though, unless you have a big file, probably. Click upload file. You'll see your file uploading. And then when it's ready, it will say upload status done. If there's any errors, you can click download your processing report, open it up and it will tell you your errors that you need to fix. Once the upload is successful, your images should appear on your listings within 24 hours. 
So if you happen to have any issues with your flat file, feel free to comment below. That's a tongue twister. Feel free to comment down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Or if you wanted to contact seller support, they're pretty good at answering. So I have a two minute video on how to contact them by phone or email up here. And if you want to know more about selling on Amazon, you will love this playlist of mine here. If you feel like this video was helpful, please give it a like so it can spread to and help more people. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can see more Amazon videos from me. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.